All right, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So I'm having, doing a little small reading for you guys. These are the deck that I had yesterday in the park, but Spirit said that it was just, they needed to charge in the park. Yes, so good vibes, good energy. Happy full moon to all y'all, okay? Yes, 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 yes. All right, so these are the deck that they wanted me to pull. Sorry, but I gotta go. <laughs> I'm going to watch the Gardens of the Galaxy, okay? Yes. <laughs> so here we go. Um, but before that, I'm gonna be obedient, you know? Spirit has wanted me to channel a message. I do write it down. I don't know if this is the same one. If not, I'll come back. Oh, Lord. Okay. Sorry, guys. I just turn off the camera because it's like, yo, let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good weekend. Okay. You got this. All right. I know it's a very chaotic energy. Okay. A lot going on, all right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Spirit is just saying, whoever it is, there's a masculine energy. You're gonna be victorious and successful. Follow your intuition, okay? There's a manifestation or wish fulfillment. Something is coming in for an emperor. Yes. Okay. The Ace of Cups. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I see you crying a little bit. You've been healing some stuff. Woo! What fell off? Uh -oh. What fell off? Yeah, the Six of Wands keep following you. Victory is successful, okay? It's good to cry. It's good to feel your feelings, okay? Jasper, truth and clarity. Something about your root, okay? Work on your root chakra, all right? All right, Spirit, there's a lot going on here. Oh my God. All right. So these are the decks. Woo. So something backfire as well, just heard. So someone's doing something to someone to jeopardize their, what they want to do, their legacy, something that they want to do. Okay, let's look at the moon. The moon magic <laughs> or moon magic. What I meant to say moon oracle, but mm, I told you guys that someone's been doing stuff for a oh, while. Wow. Okay, I'm dying of heat. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> it's hot. Okay, yeah, so I'm channeling right now. Okay, so yeah, sorry guys. I get a little bit hot, hot, hot. Okay, uh, let's use some Reiki. All negative vibes to protect our energy. Amen, amen. Okay, so something about this new moon that's coming up. I think it is on May 19 on Taurus, okay? New moon, new moon and Leo, so a Leo could be significant, but right now we're in the lunar eclipse right now, okay? Which is Pluto Mercury and Mercury retrograde and like, woo, full moon as well, right? It's a full moon in Scorpio, yeah. Ooh la la, so yeah, a lot going on, okay? So hang in there, right? Keep those prayers, keep the meditation, okay? Yes, I did my hair this morning. I don't know, I feel good. This morning spirit was like woking me up in a good vibe. Like I wasn't expecting to wake up early today, but they're like, yeah, let's go to your hair. Let's get cute, you know? Yes, guys, I did my treatment. Protection hair, okay? Maybe one day I'll give you guys the recipe. <laughs> but yeah, as soon as I did it, the, the breakage and the thing stopped happening, you know? Yes, yes, yes. We are protected and highly blessed and favor. Amen. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on. Wow, that took four minutes. All right. <laughs> 
Okay, we're not gonna make it this too long. Bring love into the situation, exactly. Show yourself love, show yourself, you know, show love to others. An Aquarius could be significant. Something about pouring love into yourself right now. Heal yourself, wow, spirit, that's a lot. But something, look at the bigger picture. Full moon is Sagittarius, okay. There's only new moon energy. So a lot of you, it's like you're releasing some stuff right now. So that on May 19th, you can start a new cycle. So a lot of you, you're closing a lot of cycles. Okay. This is why a spirit is saying, giving you victory and success. Like it, they're proud of you. Okay. Whoever you are. Um, some of you are letting go of toxicity, uh, the codependency, addictions. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So what's going on? Don't let pride get in your way. So a lot of you, it's like you want to do something, but it's like your ego is... Uh, some of you are dealing with a Leo. So full moon and Leo, don't let pride get in your way. So yeah, that's one thing that needs to be surrendered, let go. Yes, yeah. Yeah, fiery climate approaches. Look at that, full moon and Aries, okay. Aries energy, a lot of fire and air here. A personal issue, issue reaches resolution, okay. Cancer energy, your work, your hard work is paying off, okay 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 so since we're in a full moon i'm gonna look at the card of surrender let's see what we need to surrender where is that card? where is that deck where is that deck uh here it is sorry guys i'm like oh, I'm dying of heat and it's not really oh high priestess okay intuition unconscious inner voice mystery the high priest is a formidable force of meditation and balance sitting between the pillar of establishment and the pillar of strength. This card offers the balance between masculine and feminine energy, good and evil, negative and positive. Remember I talked about that in that reading that I did in the park? Well, not reading, it was like a channel intuitive message. Um, you need to listen to your gut, meditate, reflect, and turn inward. As the answers are within you, you are headed towards a period of growth. Moon energy, water, okay? So water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, okay? Surrender stress. Take a deep breath and sell the tension you'll build up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Okay, so let's see. I didn't even get into tarot. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Surrender to trust. Surrender to attachment to results. Okay, so stop doing stuff expecting a result. Like just do it, whatever, follow your intuition. Okay. can't stay too long because I it's kind of far where I have to go but camera okay reminiscing keep safe perception learn from the past make memories okay so someone wants to make memories with you ah that's what's going on this emperor wants to make a move but these feelings are overwhelming this person but Sphere is saying to put love into the situation and not let pride. Like some of you, you're very prideful and egotistical. Like I'm telling you, a lot of you, that's the other message that I have to say. There's someone who is going to regret by listening to their ego and their pride. They're going to miss an opportunity. That's the message that I got um, two nights ago where I have to do this reading. So this is the good news and later is the bad news. So for those who resonate with that, but it doesn't necessarily have to be bad news. It's just a warning for someone, you know. Oh, now I'm curious. I want to see the message. One second. <laughs> Wait. Where is it? Wait. Wait. Yeah. Okay. So this is it. It says they fail the test. They fumble the bag. Instant karma. Lesson learned. Okay, so some of you is like someone stuck in like demon time. Okay, like the devil has a hole on them now because they took too long. Okay, now they're saying there's a scripture of the day for a lot of you. Wow, spirits like today, but I want to post this before I go because it takes a little bit of time. And if I make it too long, then it's an issue. Like, where is the spirit? What do you want to say?
Okay. So Nehemiah, uh, Nehemiah 1, uh, verse 5. Then I said, Lord, the God of heaven, the great and awesome God who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him and keep his commandments. Okay. So that's for someone of you. Like you really have to respect the... Uh, you know your your body because remember your body is a temple that's what i wanted to say yesterday but it didn't come out as i wanted to uh your body is a temple so take care of your body make sure that you're water make sure that you're doing your meditations your exercise make sure that you're not exchanging your energy you're protecting your peace in your heart uh protect your body okay thank you coffee cup okay yeah this kid came out in the other reading too this person wants to meet you, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. They want to start a friendship with you, but it's their pride. They're so prideful. Oh my God, let it go. Yeah, the Green Reaper. Oh, okay. So they want to let you know the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So for a lot of you, this person is letting you know that, that whatever karmic or third party situation, whatever happened, it's over, okay? Like, but it has nothing to do with you. It's just the fact that it has to do with them like th this is something you know but i feel like there's someone projecting that to you right now where they're projecting whoever karmic energy that this person had to let go of okay this is why the climate is approaching is because i feel like this is something that has been brewing for a long time but i feel like some of you you were the catalyst of this or you were like the inspiration of this person to like you know take their power back and send that for whoever this is okay others of you this is not you know yeah lining yeah they have to do the sudden changes because something wasn't working it wasn't of the highest good okay so luring this lunar eclipse everything that it's been hidden is being illuminated right now even though it's like kind of like shadowy eclipse right but it really is there's like this lightning or this could be intuitive messages it could be downloaded this person um some of you you are the green reaper <laughs> okay you um you grow and transform and you know this is like it feels like scorpio energy uh so yeah sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany appeal transformation exactly so whatever was revealed to this person whatever they have decided i feel like maybe god or angels have been talking to this person about this situation and they're finally taking yeah see they want to apologize about something, but also it's like the page of cups. This could be someone younger than you, or maybe you're younger than this person. But the page of cups is someone like constantly thinking a lot and very, um, yeah, I <laughs> just said thinking and look what came out. Like they're constantly overthinking this. Like they're stuck in their head about this love offer. Also, they could be crying a lot. They're very emotional right now because their heart chakra is being opening as we speak. Remember I told you guys that when you go through that period of the ego death and the and the period of the flesh where the, you're killing the flesh and you start connecting more with God, with Christ, you see, this is a masculine. This is someone who had the potential to be a masculine and they were acting, you know, not mask, divine, okay? And now they are focusing on their divinity and they're realizing now, like, they're listening to spirit, they're listening to your angels, okay? Right now, they are they want to offer this, this cup, right? But they feel like energetically, you're kind of closed off to them, but that's divinely guided is because right now, they have to focus within themselves. They have to go within, Okay um you're this earth angel you bring a lot of peace and harmony and this is what they're looking for also this person has to defend themselves and defend you i feel like someone was talking not very nice about you um i feel like this could be people that don't really know you for real yeah these are people who stab him in the back yeah heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack i feel like they were deceived not only by friends but also family members exes there was a lot of people involved in this like trying to i don't know there's something that you do or something that yeah a lot of people stuck in their ego in the 3d okay wanted to keep this person stuck and i they're seeing now like you're the love i'm hearing you're the love of my life like i want to but there's something keeping this person in kind of trap a spiritual jail or there's just a lot of fears of how to communicate. Like they want to apologize about something exactly. And that's the truth. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna leave it here. Yes, yeah, see, they wanna ask you on a date. We just said that, that's the coffee cup, okay? They wanna take you for coffee, maybe watch a movie, okay? <laughs> or, um, I don't know, they wanna talk to you in person, okay? Not just on the phone. I feel like this is someone like maybe you're in no contact with or, you know, the usual crap ghosts at you or, you know, very toxic energy to be honest. But I feel like this is what it's like constantly in their mind. Yeah, they're frustrated about this because they feel like, why would I do that to someone that I love? Why would I, you know, so this is something that is constantly in their mind okay but a lot of you i feel like you've forgiven this energy you're already forgiven you're already because you're you're in the energy of love like you just like you see their point of view see where they're at you don't know, hold that you know but also you don't want you also know when someone like you don't want this person to take advantage of you or take you for granted or something like that so you have strong boundaries and this person loves that about you you're teaching them this okay Frustration doesn't open any doors there. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block, which is the eight of swords here, is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Okay? I feel like Spirit is giving you whoever you are, Divine Masculine, okay? And Divine Feminine, this is what this person is going through, okay? Because they want to approach you. They have a lot of love for you. They also feel like you're kind of guarded. But you have boundaries, which is good, okay? You, you, you're you protecting your peace, okay? You alchemize energy. You know you're not stuck. You're not accepting any negativity or toxicity or something like that. Also, um, you're very open. Like your third eye is open. Also, your heart. Oh, so beautiful. Great energy. You could be a healer. Yeah, you see this person with the emperor energy, the nine of what? Wow, not nine, nine. Yeah, this person is almost there. It's almost there. Okay, because they have the nine of wands and the nine of swords. They're having a lot of anxieties. And I feel like this person is, is done being the victim or being the wounded warrior. And some of you, that this is you. This was you in the past, okay? Yeah, this person has been working on balancing their grounding themselves, the king of pentacles okay they want this victory and success they want to let you know that they have been uh going into hermit mode solitude that they're working they're listening now they're listening to the intuition you guys have a strong telepathic communication though even though it could be on and off because you know god wants him to you know not constantly rely on you they want him to connect with him and build that relationship with him which is why it has made this person more balanced the king of cups this is this emotional availability stability also very intuitive this person is could be very empathetic empathic okay they're assessing their their energy like they're i don't know the king the hangman yeah i feel like there's a lot of epiphanies on this person yeah this person is going through some serious spiritual awakening okay yeah they're putting something to rest. Again, like I said, this third party, they're healing from something because they want this emotional fulfillment. They don't want this burden, these people burning them out or stressing them out. Also, I don't know. They want to give you what you... Like, there's someone angry about this, about this person as well. I don't know, because this nine of souls is also is like a fast energy. And I, I feel like they could be very impulsive because they just want to give you... You know? But also, they're healing from this painful ending. Something very painful, like a tower moment. Yeah, it could be a divorce. It could be a separation. So this person really has to ground themselves, Spirit said. Like, there's no rush. Don't rush into things. Like, I know Spirit saying you're frustrated, but don't rush into things. Just communicate calmly. Come from a calm space, okay? But also really keep check your ego, okay? Yeah, and surrender stress. This person is stressing. Look, it says surrender to your soul path, okay? You are, this is going to happen no matter what. No weapon form against you guys will, it's got, not going to prosper, okay? So take a, see, take a few breaths. Do some breath work, okay? Especially now, it's beautiful to meditate and do breath work right now. Take a few breath, deep breaths and exhale the tension you build up in your body. Ooh, this person is oh they're been holding their sexual energy too Boo la la 
and I tell the things you build up in your body. Ah, oh, this is what it is. <laughs> this person is trying to hold themselves back because they find you very attractive. They're trying to build self-control. They have been doing that, but it's like every time they see you or every time you're around or for you're around, like this person gets really nervous <laughs> and they're frustrated about this because it's like, oh, I want to let go of this. Like I want to be like this person could stutter too. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Yeah, they get very nervous. But it's because these feelings, they've been bottled up. Surrender to your soul path. Your life journey has been perfectly designed for your soul growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Okay. Masculine. Okay, I see you. I see you. Okay, guys, I gotta go. But I hope this helped you. Give your relationship a chance. Okay, Divine Feminine. Wow, your person wants a second chance. Work on your partnership. <laughs> this is so cute. I love this energy. <laughs> Yo, we've been having really hardcore readings. I'm glad that this is uh, around. Yeah, honeymoon, okay. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This person is planning something. Like, they want to take you out or something like that. Somewhere in the water. Something about water is related here. And look, it's being guided by spirit. Like, you see that there's like an angel guiding the two of you. So your guys are guided, okay? So just listen to your intuition and don't listen to other people's opinion, okay? Yeah, this could be the one. Oh my God. You already met the romantic partner you seek. Masculine play, okay? Playfulness, okay? To re recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit fun to shine, okay? Some of you, that's why you help this person feels like alive or like their inner child is safe or at peace something that they never had this experience before so they're really grateful for you okay divine feminine continue working on yourself you know healing yourself i don't know it's so beautiful your energy is so beautiful <laughs> i'm so attracted to you i i can't make this up this girl person is like smitten they don't look at anybody else they can't like nobody else gets them like you do uh this person really god has been working on this person okay and if they were a bad boy in the past they're not anymore okay it's especially when you surrender to god god renews your heart god gives you a new heart and when that happened wow what a blessing and god did that for you divine feminines because you've been obedient you've been doing your work good job yeah, see, I left you before you could leave me. Okay, so this is a fear. This is the ego talking. This is a childhood wounds that they had. So they really, yeah, they couldn't give you what you deserve at that time when they were not in your energy anymore. Or they were acting some type of way, okay? That was not respectful, right? All right, one more spear and I gotta go. See, it was my fault, but I blamed you. See, childhood wounds. This person had growth to do, maturity, okay? They were immature, okay? And they act in a certain way that wasn't for the highest good. Exactly. But you show them the way, something that you have been doing or something. Yeah, we need to let each other go, exactly. This is the ego. You see how they're battling the ego? But at the same time, you guys needed to let each other grow so that you can grow, so that you can mature. But also this person needed to build that relationship with God, with his angels, with the spirit guys that you couldn't be around. Also, they weren't ready for you to give you what you deserve, okay? But now they are, okay? <laughs> I will wait for a sign for you. I feel like this is a sign from God because you are not a, I feel like you're, I don't react when people mention you. <laughs> see, their ego is constantly, see? They lie about something and regret lying to you, okay? So this is something they're constantly thinking and thinking and thinking and then trying to, you know, and forgive themselves. But one thing that I would recommend to this person is come true, come to the authentic self, okay? No more lying and say it, like tell the lie and say, I right now I vouch not to lie again or not to, you know, deceive you or act in a certain way. Like that's it, it's with actions because forgiveness without action is nothing, okay? This person already forgive this situation within themselves. They already heal within themselves. You already need to forgive yourself, surrender the situation 
to God and let them guide you, okay? I love you guys. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped you. I'll see you probably later when I come back. We will see, okay? Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for the super things. Thank you so much for your good vibes, your prayers, and good luck with everything, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Keep being your beautiful, sexy you, okay? Your person loves you very much, okay? So don't worry about anything. Mm-hmm. Let go and let God. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>